Hi everybody, I just wanted to do a quick video to show you where I have collated some example local DAISY server config files and Windows batch files so that you can use them as examples for working on your own DAISY local server or even your own DAISY remote server as well. And they may well be useful if you find this way of learning useful. So for example with myself, sometimes when I look at things and have working examples. I can go, ah, oh, right, I see how that works now, rather than having to look through instructions and, and watch videos. I know it's probably a combination of those things. So when you're making a DAISY local server or a DAISY server in general as well, two of the most important files are the Windows batch file and the config file. And the Windows batch file basically tells the server to start with certain mods, um, and the config file tells the server to start with certain missions, so which map it is, and other things like how fast time passes and, and stuff like that. So in combination, you need these to get your server to start with, say, um, the vanilla plus plus admin tools on Livonia. You know, you have to use a combination of these. And what I do for my local server is I have lots of different Windows batch files that start the server with lots of different combinations of mods. Then I have a few different config files that will start the server with different missions, so different maps. Now, if you've got a remote server, a community server, if it's with a server provider like Nitrado, you won't have access to the batch file that starts it. That's normally in the settings on the front page. It will say something like additional mods, and that's where you put that. You don't have direct access to it. If you've got your own dedicated box, obviously you do. You have access to the config file normally in the advanced settings. That's when you go into, and it will say basic settings or advanced settings, you go into it, or expert settings, and you go in there, and you can mess around with things like how fast time uh, how fast time passes and which mission that you're running. So Chernus or Livonia or something a little bit more exotic. So what I've done in the description below this video, you'll find a link to my GitHub repository and my mega repository where there's just lots of examples. So there's my um, .bat file that starts my server um, on Chernus with Zomberry and the AI mod. Um, and there's one that starts it on Banov, and there's the config file for Banov, the config file for Livonia. So you can just have a look at them. They're not completely perfect. You'll probably find that the server name is normally wrong, but they do work um, for me. Now, these aren't ready to go for you. You're going to have to do things like change um, file paths um, where things are for your particular case. Um, and obviously you're going to have to have the correct mods installed in the correct way on your server. But these are examples that you can refer to to help you understand how .bat Windows files work and how uh, DayZ server config files work. And I've also included down below a link to the official DayZ server wiki server configuration article as well, which again goes into more details about how it works, and there's an example config. There isn't an example .bat file though, so that is a bit of a pain. So there we go, hopefully you'll find this useful. Um, if you do, obviously hit like, if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe, and I will of course see you again soon.